first of all in hinduism all the goddess represents nature its forms and energies and gods like shiva vishnu krishna represents awareness creativeness consciousness nothingness brahman or godliness you can give any name you like but that state is same so basically shiva is awareness and parvati is nature or you can say parvati is the manifestation of awareness so the story of ganesha goes like this parvati was sad because no one was loyal to her no one was trustworthy she tried with nandi the bull of shiva but he too was found to be not totally loyal so she was sad a bit because she wanted pure trust pure devotion if we observe it implies that nature was sad because no one was loving to her no one was trusting to her no one was totally loyal to her so parvati decided to manifest some of its energy into ganesha so that she can have someone who trusts her unconditionally who will be totally devotional to her irrespective of all the conditions and this way ganesha was created take it as after being tired of disloyalty enmity and unlovingness of people nature created a compassionate soul a loving being who loves nature who trusts and protects nature so ganesha is a symbol of trust ganesha is a symbol of devotion all the compassionate and truthful souls are ganeshas in fact every child is a ganesha but societal conditioning comes and destroys that innocence all the beliefs ideologies identities competitions develops ego attachment and proud in you and the story also depicts that when ganesha started to defeat the ganas and armies of shiva he developed a kind of ego in him and that ego was also noticeable when ganesha stopped shiva yes that stopping of ganesha was mostly out of trust to parvati but still a slight ego was there that's why shiva chopped off his head remember this if there were no ego in him shiva would not have chopped off his head but this chopping too has a very beautiful insight if you can see it from my perspective see shiva represents awareness so when ganesha started to gain ego in him awareness came to remove that dirt godliness came to purify him to transcend him because ganesha was a compassionate and a truthful soul so awareness has to come to take care of its truthful children awareness always helps and reveals itself to those who are truthful and compassionate so shiva did not chop ganesha's head shiva actually chopped ganesha's ego his identity it can also imply that when ganesha's being tasted awareness for the first time his ego his proud died on the spot but mother is mother parvati demanded shiva to bring back ganesha's life nature wants its child to have all the fun of life too to enjoy all the emotions of life to enjoy all the plays of life through a party but now ganesha's soul has tasted awareness there is no ego remained there is no body just a pure consciousness but nature is demanding awareness to bring back her son's life so what can awareness do now what did shiva do shiva brought an elephant's head and gave back ganesha his life now what does it imply what actually happened here awareness shiva merged ganesha's soul with the nature that elephant's head doesn't just represent an elephant it represents the whole nature plants animals rocks the whole nature and i think the reason why an elephant was mentioned is because elephants are so giant powerful and yet very loving and innocent 
So awareness merged an awakened soul with the nature to let him enjoy the ecstasy of life and made Ganesha a god, Ganapati. But why Shiva, awareness, merged an awakened soul, Ganesha, with the nature? Because only in wholeness there can be bliss, only in oneness there can be ecstasy. Ganesha represents every innocent child, but societal conditioning, beliefs, ideologies covers that innocence with ego. But if you still remain compassionate to nature, curious and meditate unconditionally, then that awareness and compassion in itself will certainly kill the dirt of your ego and will transform you from a body to godliness and will bring you bliss by merging you with the whole existence. The very state of awareness is non-dual and beyond subject and object. The moment you will taste it truly, your ego will die and only witness and oneness remains.